Hey guys, it's Mario from Wisconsin Fishing HD here, and today we're going to be doing a review on the St. Croix Rage Rod. As you can see here, I'm supporting St. Croix, wearing my nice St. Croix t-shirt. I just picked this up at Park Falls this weekend. It's a pretty nice shirt. Uh, to start off, we'll be going from the handle all the way up. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is a to start off all the way down at the bottom, this is just a smaller piece of EVA. And then going up, it's a tiny, it's a machine foam piece and it hardens up. And they put a tiny layer of neoprene over it. Uh, the foam makes the handle lighter and they put the neoprene over it. Because when you're fishing and this gets wet, it's supposed to make your hands a lot grippier on the rod so you don't lose it when you're fighting with the fish. And yeah, moving up, we have a Pack Bay Minima uh, reel seat. Uh, it's a two piece reel seat. Uh, the reason that they do that is because of the rod exposure right down in the handle. And I like this more than their regular Fuji reel seat because they do have the exposure on this and it's easier to feel the slightest of, slightest of hits. Moving up, uh, as you can see here, I have a 7 foot 1 medium heavy power. It's an extra fast action with SE3 graphite. This rod has the IPC technology in it. It can hold 12 to 17 pound tests and 5 16 to 3 4 and 7 lures. For the guides on this rod, it has 13 guides including a tip, as you can see here. These uh, are their uh, micro, semi-micro guides, sorry about that. They're stainless steel micro guides, so they don't rot out. And another reason is that the little ceramic pieces on most other rods would crack out. But with this rod, they also put the stainless steel ceramic pieces in it, so the little eyelets, so they don't crack out. That's a nice thing that they did on this. So yeah, that's the review on the St. Croix Ray Drop. Check St. Croix out, they're the, one of the greatest companies ever in fishing rods. So yeah, check them out.